Look who's back on the channel, bitches! Hi. It's Erin! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, we are going to be doing a drive with us. Drive with me! But I am not driving this time, which is really... I've never actually done drive with me where I'm not the driver. And also, I've never been driven by Erin. So who yeah. knows what this is gonna be like. You're very fucking break happy, aren't you? Jesus Christ. I am very break happy. <laughs> so I asked out on my Instagram for some questions and like topics for us to talk about. And I've written them all in my notes so I can read them easily because I get really bad car sick. So if I can read it, then I'm hoping that I won't be sick. Okay, not in my car. If you wanna follow me on Instagram so you're involved in the next time, that's not English. The next time you do a Next video. time I do a video where I need you guys' help. My username is just at Liv Grace. I'll put it on the screen now and I'll put Erin's on the screen now as well. Give me a follow. So we can follow her, we can get her women's ratio up. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. We've barely even left. We've been driving for literally one minute. Um, the way you, the, the way that you swerved into that road with confidence. Oh yeah, I've got way too much confidence. This road, however, this is not the best road for me to be like. So what if we start about, how did we meet? How do we know each other? How long have we been friends for? Um, so we met at uni. Yeah, we do the same degree. Yeah. Funny thing is, we weren't actually like, we didn't actually talk until I bumped into her. In m and In m and in my, in our town that we both live in. We bumped into each other and then and then i was like what are you doing here and you're like i, was, I, live, I here. live here and i was like what are you doing here and she's like i live here too it smells like rice yeah i was thinking that oh please so yeah, see what i mean with this road you need to be confident go out into the middle wait you go into the middle first or? yeah go into the middle oh my god i have anxiety for you <laughs> yeah me too we're gonna be here all day oh are they letting me go okay so what you go Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Someone's gonna let us go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Are you go, sure? go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> what kind of question do you want? Do you want a deep one? Do you want a boy talk, girl talk? Um. What do you fancy? Let's go for a deep one, and then like maybe a boy okay. talk. Okay. Should I go on anxiety medication or medication for my mental health? Um. Yeah. I mean. So, we're, so we both take medication. Obviously, they don't allow you to take like antidepressant, like anxiety medication, till you're 18. Unless you're me. I think it whatever works best for you. Like, I don't think there's like a time where you should be like, right now, I need to go on it. But to be honest, I my life improved so much when I started taking it. Yeah, I don't know about you. Massively. Like, and when I don't take it, I notice it a lot. I'm like, oh shit, I haven't taken it. Mm. So I mean, I would try counseling because it does work for some people and i know a lot of people really don't like the idea of taking medication for anxiety or mental health but i think sometimes like it is actually like a chemical imbalance what are the best and worst things about going to uni in london and commuting to uni and not living there it's so much fun. i've got a lot of stuff about that yeah um best things i like yeah we don't, don't have, to, have pay. to pay for accommodation you don't have to pay for food like and all of that you don't have to live somewhere like shit. You can still live at home. Yeah, I'm living off my mum. <laughs> <laughs> All your money that you like earn for your job is like for your own shit. Like you're not Disposable paying to live. Disposable income. You're not paying to like live. Do you know what I mean? You're um, just paying for you know your lashes. I like that it's only two days a week. A normal uni, you would like have like a three hour lecture on a Monday and then like nothing in the afternoon and then like a rant. Like I like that it's like two hour, yeah, two days at a jam packed. At the moment we're one online. My week. Yeah, exactly. There's also a lot less pressure to like make friends because you don't have to because I know a lot yeah. of people go to uni like worried about making friends. Yeah. You don't and, live like, with them. If you don't no. like anybody, there's a, there's some people at our uni that literally just keep to themselves. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh and worse things. I mean I would say paying for trains. It's long, it's exhausting. Yeah. I just can't be hard. She get it gets to about three, four o'clock and Aaron is conked out. Time. On a Thursday, it gets to like four o'clock, and he's like got an hour left to do, and, and she's I'm like, like I'm done, as soon as he said, right, we'll finish fifteen minutes early, she leapt up out of her chair. We should tag the uni in this. <laughs> Probably like you end up wanting to spend money. Yeah, you end up wanting to go out after uni. You Go end shopping, up Uber uh, Eats, like lunch. Spill 
the gossip on your love life. It's no, non-existent. Tell us, a, tell us a funny um, boy story. I feel like you've got a lot. Um, you can go. You can take this um, question. I think that'd be even funny. You might have just not PG. <laughs> oh, with my ex-boyfriend when he first tried to kiss me, I was got so nervous that I like swerved him and then hugged him and patted him on the back instead of kissing him. Because oh. <laughs> he was like, he's like a head taller than me, so it was easy. So you like, imagine like, you know, you see that boy's face when they go to kiss. Yeah. It's, it's like that, like, like the, the eyes. It's like, down. it's like that. Ignore <laughs> it, and I was like, nope. And I like swerved because we were like, we weren't even really friends before we we worked together. Do you know what I mean? Like we weren't even really friends. So like I didn't. I knew that he fancied me, but I didn't think he would actually try anything. Also, like we were in the middle of the dance floor. My manager was next to me. Oh no. My supervisors were around. Like people, like all the people I work with, like the managers of the managers of the managers were there. And I was like, nope, this is not happening today. How do I deal with a toxic friend? Drop them. Yeah, I agree. I, but if you do it, like, it's easy to just do it slowly. I know. think, yeah, you can either phase them out yeah. Like we've got the phase out method which is the slow like when they say should we meet up you're like yeah maybe yeah i'll see when i'm free and you just never tell them when you're free you just kind of phase it out i like the dead plant method personally but the dead plant method is when so a dead plant is like a friend that like you'll only speak to if you message them or if you speak to oh, them oh yeah, yeah yeah so you just stop watering it you stop messaging oh yeah i've i've done the dead plant method it's great you stop messaging and then if they message back then fine it's worth saving if they don't message back then see ya it's great to do that with boys because then they want you more um yeah oh my I, God, love, have you... I love my collection of dead plants <laughs> you ever gonna revive any of them i water them every fucking day <laughs> what would you do if you won the lottery tomorrow like what would be your plan i feel like you have Get a plan a bbl <laughs> mine would be like buy a house yeah or no, I'd buy a house. I'd buy a really nice car. I'd buy a nice car for my mum. I'd rather be homeless with a BBL. I'd give my mum. I'd give my mum a cut of it. Nah. I no, would. I would. I'd, I'd pay do. off. I'd pay off my student um, debt. Buy a Rottweiler. A Rottweiler. But that would. Should I buy? Would you, I'd probably buy a property in London. That would have to be like after my BBL's healed because you don't want a Rottweiler like jumping on your fresh BBL because you'll be like leaking. Have you ever broken girl code? Yeah. Have you? Next question. Shut up. I don't think I have. Then do you believe that girl I always see this on Twitter and everything and I kind of agree with it. Girl code only exists if you know the if you know the girl. Yeah, if it's that case then no I haven't broken. Yeah, girl exactly. Because I was gonna say, I mean it's still wrong. But like if it's a girl that you know then I feel like it's more girl code. If it's like a random girl, then I'm not gonna have as much girl code for you because I don't know who you are. Yeah. You could you could be a bit to us your type. Um really pretty face. Six foot four, brown hair. Six foot four, that's very specific. Well, it doesn't have to be six foot four, like let's just say over Starts six. Starts with two. a six. Yeah. Personally, for me, anything taller than me is better. I have like kissed boys who aren't six foot, like 5'11. They need to be taller than me. That's like a must for me. I don't want to date someone that's shorter than me. That's just so peak. But we are golden arches. The golden arches of McDonald's. I don't know what I fancy. I might do a little rap, you know. I quite enjoy a rap. I'm kind of just a chicken nugget gal. Are you? What is your ideal first date? Um, I do quite like a little walk. Um, a walk would be cute. Holland, oh, what about a picnic. It would, would be, be Holland. No, I've had picnics. It's not cute. I would. Prob I mean, if we're talking realistic, I would say drinks personally, because I wouldn't want to be having dinner. Yeah, no, never dinner. I don't want a meal. Never cinema. Oh, why would you? Why do people go for cinemas for first dates? I don't know. Because you don't talk. You just sit in silence. I'd want them to take me to Holland Park. But like without me saying I want to go to Holland Park. Oh, um, yeah. What is your favourite thing about each other? <laughs> the fact you have a hot tub. <laughs> oh. I'm just really nice. <laughs> I think for me, I like that Erin's so confident and she makes me like be more outgoing than I already but am. I'm only confident because you're shy, if that makes sense. Am I shy? Think I'm not shy. shy, not shy, but like you're not as confident. No. I know what you mean. Just, I like being around you. Uh, really nice. Oh, hello. I can't. You're not close enough for me to put my head on you. So I'm like, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> These melts, like the round ones, or mozzarella dippers. Cheese melts, because the mozzarella dippers are never like gooey enough. Are we getting some? Yeah. So, another question. 
how's uni going and what are your plans for the future? Terrible and um, I want to do digital marketing or like, I don't know. Do you know what I want to do? What? That's a question. Oh, I thought it was like a rhetorical one. Dream job would be to do influence like influencing full time talking realistic i want to be like a social media manager for like either like a magazine or like a clothing shop have you seen the bold type on netflix no oh my god i'm enjoying it so much okay wait we need to run out again hi um could i get the mozzarella dippers share box please yeah um and six chicken nuggets with sweet and sour sauce yeah um, what do you mean? Sweet chili chicken wrap meal. A sweet chili chicken wrap meal, please. We don't have any crispy chicken wraps at the moment, and um, we have no chicken fillets. Okay, I have six chicken nuggets as well. Okay, that's perfect. Thank okay. you. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Probs on Love Island or only fans. I think I would be really good on. <laughs> I'd be so good on Love Island. I do. I think you were made for reality TV. Yeah. When you get famous from reality TV, can you take me with you? No. Maybe. I think about it. Five years from now, I want to have a job and a boyfriend. Oh yeah, I want a boyfriend. I want to be a wag. Footballer's wife. Being haste. Where are you going to find this boyfriend, like this partner, to the athlete? I don't know. I guess I have to go to like England games and stuff. <laughs> sure that will work. Yeah. Have you seen those TikToks where these girls are like dressing for like when I become a wag? No, but I need to get on. And that. they like sit on this chair and they're like have these outfits on and they're like, what is your favourite takeaway? Indian chicken korma sauce. No, Without the chicken. No chicken. Um, <laughs> I know that. Rice, garlic naan, maybe an onion bhaji if I feel hungry. I don't normally go for an Indian. I either do Thai, which is a bit of a random choice. It's so bright. I either go Thai, I'm a, I'm a chicken and prawn pad Thai. Sweet and sour chicken, rice. Oh, can you pay and I'll transfer you? I'll just pay you that to transfer me. Aww. Am I such a good friend? Wow. Aww, thanks for the mech. Is mm -hmm. nugget, I don't there's nuggets in there. No, there's not nuggets in here. Oh, I've got one nugget, I've got two nuggets in there. You panic in your voice just then. <laughs> no, why? Right. Have you got some? Well, they're like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't normally go for this house, but let's try it. So mm. Why is why is it no McDonald's at the moment have crispy chicken? That's the second time that's happened to me. Right now. Yeah, it's, they like, are. it's like globally they can't get it in. What? Not globally. Globally? If you say that fish and chips is your favourite dip. Dip? <laughs> segue. I'm concerned for your well being. Mm. If you guys did enjoy this and you want me to do more drive with me's and you want to see more of Erin then give this video a big thumbs up and drop me a comment down below. Imagine the what comments are like, oh my God, we hate Oh my God, her. get rid of Erin. <laughs> be sure to follow us on Insta, we'll put it on the screen here. I love you guys so much, be kind, stay safe, and I'll catch you all next week for a brand new video. Video. Bye guys. Like you know, swimming like a pool, pool water. Eating like I'm underwater. Had my tattoo.